Hello, welcome to my channel, Rylani Creations. My name is Wendy, and the theme of this tutorial is rainbow earrings, and these are three earrings we will be learning how to make today. We will be using these four tools to make all three pairs of earrings. We will be using a round nose plier, a wire cutter, a chain nose plier, and a nylon jaw plier. If you've been watching my tutorials, you'll know that I use these four tools to make pretty much every single pair of earrings. Uh, they are very affordable. You can get all four tools for probably around $20. You can get them from Amazon and I will include a link in the descriptions. Let's start with these earrings. They remind me of rock candies, so let's cut them rainbow rock candy earrings. To make the main part of the earring, we'll use an 18 gauge wire, 2 inches long. For the heart, we'll use 20 gauge wire. 1 inch long. If you plan to dangle a teardrop instead of a heart, you'll want to use 24 gauge wire, about 6 inches of it, so that you can wrap the wire around the teardrop. To wrap the crystals, I am using 28 gauge wire, 10 inches long. And of course, we'll need rainbow color crystals. These are 4mm in size and I have 4 in each color. You can also find these through my Amazon link in the descriptions. And we will also need an earring hook. We always start by straining the wire. In fact, I always strain it before cutting it to ensure I cut out 2 inches. We will start by creating a loop on each end. If you already made one previously and you want to ensure that they are the same size, you can place your round nose plier through the previous loop like this to see where you should place the wire this time. To create a loop, you want to place the wire on the edge of the round nose plier and then turn it all the way around like this. A full circle and then bend it backwards slightly and it will form a pretty nice looking loop. And you see here, they are pretty consistent in size. And we'll repeat the same on this end of the wire. Since we place both ends of the wire around the same part of the round nose plier, the loops are pretty consistent in size. Next, we'll wrap this 28 gauge wire around the 18 gauge wire 5 to 6 times. Place it on one end of the 18 gauge wire and then Wrap it in circles 6 times. Now push the wires together so that they bunch up nicely. Next, we will add 4 red and 4 orange crystals to the 28 gauge wire. Now wrap the crystals around the 18 gauge wire. Try to have 2 crystals facing each side and I'll show you what I mean by that later. Uh, just try to massage the crystals as you wrap it. That way it wraps nicely, but of course we'll also be massaging it more once we add all the colors. Here you can start to see that there are two crystals on each side, but of course as you wrap more colors it will move, but it's good to start forming it this way. I have added yellow and green crystals, we'll repeat by wrapping it around the 18 gauge wire and massaging it as we wrap. Here I am massaging and adjusting the crystals so that there are two crystals facing each side. Okay, so I've added the last three colors. I'm going to repeat the process of wrapping it around, so I'll speed this part up a little bit. Here I am checking to see if there's two crystals and towards the end that's not the case. So I'm just going to massage and adjust the crystals and uh, fix the wrapping a little bit so that I get two crystals on each side. You see here, there's too much wire exposed here, so I'm going to fix it. I'm going to unwrap it and push the crystals down so that when I wrap it, there won't be so much of a gap between the crystals. I'm going to wrap the wire around two times just to lock things in so that I can Examine it without the crystals moving around too much. And you see here, there's uh, two crystals of each color facing this side. And then when I move it around, it's pretty consistent in terms of having two crystals facing each side. Since I am pretty happy with the results, I am going to wrap the remainder of the wire around a couple more times. And then I'm going to cut it off and finish this up. Alright, let's cut off the extra wires and then we will use the chain nose plier to flatten any wire that is sticking out. Next, we 
next we'll work on this heart we'll take the one inch 20 gauge wire that we prepared and create a very very small loop on one end Put the heart through and then we will create a bigger loop on the other end. When you create the top loop, you'll want to make sure the wire facing forward this way and not sideways like this where the small loop is exposed. Again, we are creating a bigger loop on the top. Not too big of a loop, just big enough to hang on the rainbow earring that we created. Right now, we will open up the loop and hang it on the earring and then we'll close the loop back up. Last step is to connect the airing hook, so we'll open up the loop and connect it to the airing. We are done with the rainbow rock candy airing, and next we'll create an actual rainbow airing. To make the bottom of the airing, we'll use 20 gauge wire, and to make the curve part, we'll use 26 gauge wire. We will need 3 and 1 fourth inches of 20 gauge wire, 14 inches of 26 gauge wire, we will need an earring stud and we will also be making our own super tiny jump ring. The store bought ones are really big and they end up shifting around like this. So we want to make our own tiny ones so that it stays between two C beads like this right here. We are going to use 22 gauge wire to make the loop so that it's skinny enough to fit between the two C beads but strong enough to hold its shape. We are going to use size 11 C beads. I have only six colors here. I am missing a dark blue, but it's okay. It still looks pretty much like a rainbow. But of course, if you have all seven colors, then use seven colors. For the clouds, I am using one 12 mm and four 6 mm pearls. We will start by wrapping the 26 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire five to six times. I'll push the wires together so that there's no gap between them and they bunch up nicely. And then we'll cut off a little extra wire and then flatten it with a chain nose plier to make sure that there's no extra wire sticking out. And now we'll add the 12mm pro and we'll push everything to the middle. But of course, if it shifts around, that's okay. You can always adjust it later. We will start by adding purple seed beads to the 26 gauge wire. The number of seed beads depend on how big your white pearl is and also your seed bead size, but I'm adding uh, 12 seed beads here. Now we will wrap the purple seed beads around the white pearl Again, I have 12 C beads here, but if your bead sizes are bigger or smaller, then you might want to add more or remove some. Just make sure that they wrap around the white pearl nicely like this. Wrap the 26 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire twice. Next, we will add the light blue C beads to the 26 gauge wire. I added 14 blue C beads, but then I realized it doesn't actually make it all the way to the other end. So I'm going to add two more C beads here. I added two more for a total of 16, so four more than the first color. Also, the wire on this side is below the 20 gauge wire. So on the other side, I'm going to make sure that it is above the 20 gauge wire before I wrap it around two times. Push the wires together so there's no gap between them. I added 20 green ones, again four more than the blue. And I'm going to repeat this step. After adding the green, I will add 24 yellow and then 28 orange. Um, but before I add the red, I will actually create a small jump ring first. I'm going to skip the yellow and orange and let's meet after that. Okay, let's create the jump ring before adding the red. I am using 22 gauge wire here to create the jump ring. We are making a very small jump ring, so I'm placing the wire on the edge of the round nose plier. I am going around making a full circle with a little bit of an overlap. You see here the circle is very small and now we will cut the wire so that we have our jump ring. Now we'll open up this tiny jump ring and connect it to the earring stud. Now close up the jump ring and make sure there is no gap. Going back to our rainbow, I will be adding 32 total in red. So here I added half of it, uh, 16 seed beads. And then I'm going to add the jump ring that we just made through this 26 gauge wire before adding the other 16 red seed beads in. 
Now that I have added 16 more red seed beads, I'm going to curve it around and wrap the 26 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire two times. I'm just doing two times for now. I will wrap it around more to finish it up, but I just want to um, make sure you know everything looks good before I lock it in. Just like the other airing, I'm uh, massaging and adjusting the wires, the seed beads, to make sure that the, everything is kind of curving nicely. The arch of the rainbow looks good. So now I'm going to wrap the 26 gauge wire around the 20 gauge wire a few more times because we're locking everything in. We don't want to only wrap it twice because it can easily undo itself. Now we'll cut off any extra wires and then we'll use the chain nose plier to flatten any wire that is sticking out. And here I am squeezing the wires together to make sure that there is no gap between them. Next we'll be bending the 20 gauge wire to add the white clouds. I'm just using my ruler here to make sure that the rainbow and white pearl is in the middle. So once I am sure of that, I will use the chain nose plier to bend the wire here like this. So the rainbow and white pearl just shifted a little bit and that's fine. We'll just push it back and once we bend both sides, it won't be shifting like this anymore. Also, the wire I'm using here is actually only 3 inches long and it was a little too short. So make sure your wire is 3 and 1 4 inches long. Next, we'll add two 6mm white pearls to one side and then create a loop at the end. Now we'll create the loop. And then we'll bend the loop upward so that it is flat um, between the small white pearl and the big white pearl. So I'm using a chain nose ply here to help flatten that loop. And then we push it up. If you're up for the challenge, you can actually open up the loop and put it through the wire on top, but it's a little bit complicated and difficult to do, so I'm just going to leave it like this. And then we'll repeat on the other side. Again, my wire is a little bit too short, so I won't be showing you the other side. Just make sure you use a 3 and 1 4 inch wire. All right, we are done with the rainbow earrings. Next, we'll work on the hoop rainbow earrings. I am sure you've seen this style before. I am definitely not the one who came up with this idea, but since I am doing a rainbow themed earring tutorial, I felt the need to include this in the tutorial. This one here is the one that you would normally see and I wanted to add my own touch, so I added pearls to it. Do you like it without pearls or with pearls? Alright, just to show you here, the hoop I have is close to 1 inch in diameter. Of course, you can use bigger hoops or smaller hoops, it's up to you. For this hoop size, I am using about 18 inches of 26 gauge wire. We'll need our rainbow color seed beads. Again, I am using size 11 here. If you're adding the pearls, you'll need 5 4mm pearls and also some pin heads. We will start by wrapping the 26 gauge wire around the hoop 5 times. push the wires together so there's no gap between them and then with the extra tail there we'll, we'll actually wrap it around this little hook here a little bit just to so that the wire doesn't move and shift around when we add the seed beads. Now I will go ahead and start adding the seed beads to the 26 gauge wire. I have added six seed beads in each color. Uh, for the thickness of my hoop, six seed beads is about the right number of seed beads to go around. Now I will wrap the seed beads around the hoop going in circles like this and while I'm doing this, I'm pushing down on the seed beads because I don't want any gap between them. I don't want any wires to be exposed. Once I am done wrapping this around, I will add 6 seed beads of each color again to the 26 gauge wire and then repeat this step. Make sure to massage and adjust the seed beads as you wrap it around and we'll meet at the end when you've gone around the hoop. Now that I am at the end, I am putting the wire through two times so that the beads won't be moving around while I am examining it, making sure that everything looks good. Now that I've confirmed everything is good, I am going to finish wrapping this wire around the hoop a few more times, six times total. And then uh, once I am done, I will cut off the ends and finish it up. Alright, so our last step is to cut off these little extra wires. Once we cut them off, we'll use the chain nose ply to flatten them again to make sure that there is no wire sticking out. We are pretty much done with the hoop airing, but if you want to add pearls, that is what we'll be doing next. The pinheads that I have is a little too long, so I'm going to cut off extras. 
I want to have a little bit less than half an inch of extra wire uh, after the white pearl so that when I create the loop, the loop is not too big. I do want somewhat of a big loop because I am hanging it between two seed beads. But again, the pin head I had was a little too long. Now we'll open up this loop that we just created and we're going to connect it here in the middle of the hoop between two seed beads. You see here I have it placed between two seed beads. You will want to repeat this step one more time to add the four pearls. I try to space them out with one circle between each pearl. Alright, we have completed all three earrings. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!